to start you off, all you really need is a pair of scissors, pencil, and some cardboard. If you want to do a circular shape, something quite good to have is a cup or a glass or something like that to draw around. I'm gonna use my cup of coffee. So, the first thing you want to do is pick your shape, okay? Now, I'm just gonna do a simple circle, but you might want to make it um, a little bit more challenging for yourself and do a diamond, um, a square. Once you've picked your shape, draw your first one and that will act as your template. Okay, so I'm just gonna draw around my coffee cup. Like so. Okay, and then I'm gonna cut that out. Now remember, if you're cutting out a circle, best thing, the easiest thing to do it, way to do it is to cut out a square around it first. Okay right up to the edges like that. Then once you've cut the square out, you can then start to chop off the corners, nice and easily, okay? Now, you can use any type of cardboard for this. If you've had deliveries recently, you can use cardboard from that, as long as it's stiff enough not to bend, okay? So there we have my first template, okay? Once I've got that, I can then use that to draw around and make more of exactly the same shape. Okay, so in my PowerPoint, I said that you can make 25 of these shapes. Now, depending on what you want your sculpture to look like and how it develops, you might actually want more than 25, but let's aim for 25 just now. So again, cut out the, the square and then cut around your circle. Okay, so as long as all your shapes are the same. Now I mentioned that you can pick two shapes but if you feel like this this task is a little bit challenging just stick to one. Okay I'm going to speed this up a little bit now and cut out my 25. Once you've got all your circles or squares or diamonds or leaf shapes cut out, then the next thing you need to do is cut in your slots to attach the shapes together, okay? So, Your slots will look a little bit like so, okay? Now, the slots are really important and the most important thing you need to remember is they need to slide into one another, okay? Like so, in order for it to be quite steady and sturdy. What you don't want to do is slide a slot into another shape where there's no slot because then it will be a little bit wobbly, okay? So you might want several slots on one, or you might just want a couple, like so, okay? Once you've got your slots, a few slots in each one, you can start to build it up together, okay? Here's one that I've already started building and it's starting to get a little bit bigger. Now, once you're building your sculpture, there's no right or wrong to it, okay? You might want yours really tall, you might want it long, you might want it symmetrical. If you want it asymmetrical, which means um, not the same on each side, the only thing you have to be careful of is balance. So if you start to make it really heavy on one side, it might topple over, okay? But like this one here, I had started it off going up in this sort of direction, so quite tall, but I actually quite like it on its side. So you might want to turn your sculpture around and find out which angle you like it best at, okay? This is a chance for you to experiment, so try a few things out and try building it up and see how you go on, okay?